You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. Welcome to another podcast of the WBT. I'm so glad that you have joined me on this Church Sunday. I love this time because you and I come together and we sit down. And we talk about our spiritual needs and we pray together. We forget about all of the taxes, all of the business, all of the politics that is going on. All of the personal struggles that we're facing. I love this day. I love the day that we can sit together and talk about God's love. All week long, I do a podcast about business and taxes and sometimes politics. And I always look forward to Sunday because that is when I lift myself up on that day. I get prepared to face the week. I get rejuvenated. Through God's word and through his promises that he has given us. I think one of the things that we need to look at because over the last 15 days we have heard some accusations and lies and theories and everything else politically. And it has exhausted us. I think we need to be wise. We need to look ahead and let's face the reality of life with God's help. Many people in life start out well, but they end up progressing poorly because they don't plan for the pitfalls. But the Bible says the wise person looks ahead and faces reality. As you and I make plans for our future, We all face pitfalls, such as cultural distractions, as we've had this week in politics, voices of doubt, tempting shortcuts, and discouraging delays. Just look at Noah. He faced a variety of obstacles after God told him to build the ark, but he overcame them. And you and I can do the same thing. We can overcome any obstacle placed in our way. Now this doesn't mean God will give you a goal as audacious as building an ark. But I pray he'll give you and I a big goal. Even even an audacious one. For our next 10 years. The Bible says, The wise man looks ahead the fool attempts to fool himself and won't face facts proverbs 14 8. by looking ahead we'll not only be prepared to spot the pitfalls when they come into our lives we'll also be equipped to take and make plans that help us become the person god wants us to be ask god to help you establish goals for the next decade of your life. Then you'll be ready to move forward and learn how to handle the pitfalls that could potentially help you from getting where God wants you to go. I want you to talk it over this week. What lessons from the last 10 years can you apply to your next decade? When you look to the future, what kind of person do you want to become? What do you want God to accomplish in your life? How do your goals reflect the power of God in your life? Do you dream big because you serve a big God? As we face the weeks to come, in the years to come, let's sit down and let's plan 
our life. That is what God wants us to do. Let's sit down. Talk about it. Talk about the lessons that you have experienced and how you can apply those lessons to your next decade of life. If any of you need prayer, you may send them to mlodge at lodge-co.com and I will pray for you. Be specific in your prayer because I have to be specific with God what your need is. So everyone go out and have a blessed day. Remember God's with you all the time. No matter what has happened politically or in your life, know that God is with you at all times. It's the best thing in our life. The presence of God. I will talk with you soon. God bless. pray together shall we our father God we are so thankful for all the blessings that you have provided to us we are thankful for helping us with planning for our future we pray for wisdom and guidance we place our lives into your hands that thy will be done we pray this in Christ's name Listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs.